At the same time, a new report says migrants are good for New Zealand. It's found while record migration is having an impact on infrastructure, by and large it's a win for the country. Opposition parties say it glosses over the big issues and Winston Peters says the report's academic gobbledygook. Political editor Corin Dan with more. Multiculturalism and strong migration are celebrated as big bright spots by the New Zealand Initiative Think Tank. And that's music to migrant ears here. And, uh, it's really good to see this report actually uh, bringing more insight into uh, what we already know. The New Zealand Initiative's report found that in 2013, migrants added nearly $3 billion to the economy, or over $2,500 per migrant, compared to around $170 per person born in New Zealand. Also, and that kind of demonstrates the kind of group we are getting in uh, our migrants. We're getting driven people, we get people who really want to make an impact and who want to move on in life. But Labour says the report overlooks the impact record migration is having on things like Auckland traffic and housing and individual wealth. The real measure of the success of a policy like immigration is whether or not as a country we are increasing our wealth per person and we're not. Winston Peters says New Zealand must cut back current migration growth that's running at around 70,000 people a year. These numbers are almost four times at the UK, far higher than the USA and Australia per capita. They don't make any sense at all. The government says it's addressing population pressures. We certainly are committed to building the kind of inf the infrastructure that supports the growth in population, some of which comes from migration. The New Zealand Initiative also acknowledges that immigration can put pressure on infrastructure, but it says rather than cut immigrant numbers, the government could introduce a levy on migrants. I think the bar for any new levy is pretty high. Overall, though, for Teo, this new report's a big positive, helping offset some of the negative rhetoric about migrants. Corin Dan, One News.